What is up, Dallas Cowboys fans? Indy Cartim Tim here with your Dallas Cowboys Daily Blitz right here on Fanscreen Sports and the Fish Report YouTube channel. It is the Eagles post game. How are you feeling? How are you feeling after that? Literally, it ended 30 seconds ago as I'm recording this. Uh, and, you know, I guess it got a lot more exciting there towards the end of the game than what we thought it would. Um, and I will, I've got some notes here. We'll just quickly go over this. We're not going to do an extended show. We're going to do more quick hits here for you uh, and let you get back to your commiserating with whoever you watch the game with, um, as I will do as I crack open a beer here in about five minutes. But, uh, you know, for Dallas, I thought I had my, not my notes from the game from earlier before it got close there in the fourth quarter. Uh, drops, 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 drops. Four big drops by... Otherwise, sure, sure-handed Cowboys receivers. Pollard dropped a big ball. Uh, Lamb dropped a big ball. Gallup dropped a, a first down ball. Uh, and, um, you know, Ferguson had a drop. Uh, that's, that's inexcusable for these guys. Dak needs all the freaking help he can get. And when he's not getting help from his receivers, it just makes him look even worse. So, uh, and, you know, I've been very critical of Dak recently. And... I thought Dak had a really good game today. I thought his decision making was great. He, you know, not that he played flawlessly, but I thought Dak had a great game. This might have been one of the best games of of the season for him. Um, and you know, that's saying something for me to to admit that about Dak. He goes twenty nine of forty four, three hundred seventy four yards, three touchdown passes, eight and a half yard average um, per pass. That's great for Dak, man. And he wasn't getting help from anybody. The run game couldn't do anything. 73 total yards on the ground for the Cowboys. Pollard, 12 carries, 51 yards. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the passing game was great. C.D. Lamb, just shy of 200 yards, 11 catches, 191 yards. Had he not dropped that one ball that hit him right in the hands, he'd have been over 200. Um 16 targets, 11 catches on 16 targets. That's I don't like that ratio very much, but, you know, against a stout defense like the Eagles. I guess you will take being in that position at the end of the game really twice, really twice. You were there twice with a chance to win it late in the fourth quarter. Uh, one of the big crucial errors, I think, and you know what, I get it in the moment of the game. Dak stepping out of bounds just short of the goal line on that two-point conversion, that would have changed the entire complexity of the final part of the game being down just three rather than five and needing a touchdown. But, I mean, I'm not going to blame that on Dak. He's trying to make a play, uh, you know, maybe a slight mental error. You'd, you'd expect him to know where he was on the field, but you know what? He's trying to make a play. I'm not putting that on him. It's it's just a football play. The defense was breaking down on him, and you know what? He, it, he'd stepped out. So what? Um, I thought the play, the uh, fourth and one, where Schoonmaker was about a foot short of getting in the end zone. I put that on Schoonmaker. Uh, when you're running that route, you got to make sure you're across the goal line. And he ran a really flat route that gave the, gave the defender, I think they talked about it on TV, that gave the defender an opportunity to break on him sooner than he should have. That's a big rookie mistake by Luke Schoonmaker. Uh, so, you know, um, hopefully he'll improve on that. He's supposed to be a big part of the offense here moving forward. I haven't seen it yet, but I guess we'll see. Maybe I'm just not a Michigan guy. I don't know. Um, but uh, so, yeah, I thought some crucial errors towards the end of the game and clock management. Um, I did not think the Cowboys had any kind of sense, of sense of urgency late in the fourth quarter on either one of those drives when they were trying to score just letting the clock tick away. They had all three of their timeouts. I'm not saying take timeouts, but, man, they let a lot of time tick by in between plays. Just no sense of urgency, and it came up and bit them in the ass uh, there at the end of the game when you were running out of clock on that uh, final drive. By the way, the Eagles did everything they could do to give that game to Dallas. Everything they could do with those huge penalties on that final drive to get the Cowboys you know, down into, into position to, to try to make a play. But then the two big sacks, I didn't think Terrence Steele had the greatest of games today. And the offensive line, again, they're not the offensive line from two years ago. I get it. Everybody's older. Uh, a couple of them are hurting, you know, a little bit. It, it's fine. Um, it is what it is. That's the line we have. 
I just think the offense should be planning more for for the offensive line to not be as good as it was two years ago, and I don't I don't see them doing that. But uh, your final Philly twenty eight, Dallas twenty three. Uh, the Eagles now eight and one. Cowboys now five and three. And man, that five and three hurts. That loss to Arizona hurts really bad right now. But especially since that's the only game the Cardinals have won all season. But you know. Uh, Entertainment value, it's a 10. It was a 10 today, right? I mean, I, th- I think so from from an entertainment and from a fan standpoint. Um, but that's not going to win you playoff games, and that's not going to win you any championships just being entertaining. So uh, kudos to the Eagles. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. Jalen Hurts, I thought they pretty much kept him in check today, 17-23, to 23, 207 yards, two touchdowns. Yes, he's supposedly been a little bit hobbled with that knee. He kind of tweaked it again today right before the first half, or right before half was over. Uh, but, you know, the Eagles are going to eagle. I still hate the stupid tush-push play. I think it should be banned because nobody else can do it. It's probably not fair, but that's what I think. I'm sticking to my guns there. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in today. Go commiserate with your buddies. <clears throat> Cowboys, we'll go get them next, next week. Uh, who do we have next week? As you have the Giants, if I can read in the dark on my calendar, um, next week. So, We'll prep for that. We'll do some shows here early in the week. Maybe do a little deep dive on this one before we get there. Um, But, yep, let's prep for Giants. Let's get everybody healthy this week. We'll come at you again here on the Fish Report YouTube channel and on FanStreamSports.com. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And until next time, we'll see you.